we are going to solve some equations using substitution. I have x minus 3 squared minus 7 times x minus 3 plus 12 equals 0. Now some of you would like to begin by multiplying this out using some FOIL, using distributive property, and you will get the same answer. But in this problem, I am trying to demonstrate substitution. So do you see these x minus 3's? I am going to let u equal x minus 3. I will substitute in u. So wherever I see x minus 3, I will plug in u. My equation is now u squared minus 7u plus 12. And look what I have. I have a quadratic equation. So I can factor this or I can use a quadratic formula. I am going to factor this. That will be u minus 3 times u minus 4. And this is equal to 0. So I can use the 0 product property. u minus 3 will equal 0, which means u will equal 3. Or the other binomial, u minus 4, will equal 0, which means u will equal 4. Are we done? No, we're not done. I have solved for u, not x. I want x. So wherever I see u, I will plug back in x minus 3. So if u is equal to 3, that means x minus 3 is going to equal 3. If u is equal to 4, that means x minus 3 is equal to 4. Solve both of these equations x will equal 6 or x will equal 7. Let's try one more. We have x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 8 equals 0. This is a quartic equation, x to the fourth. It is not quadratic. I'm going to first solve this by substitution and then I'll show you another way. Do you all notice I have x to the fourth and x squared? And do you also believe that x to the fourth is the same thing as x squared squared? Because a power to a power we multiply. So I am going to substitute u for x squared. So wherever I see x squared, I will plug in u. My equation is now u squared minus 6u plus 8. And now you may notice this is a quadratic equation. I will factor this u minus 4 times u minus 2. I will use a zero product property and you should know that I will get u is equal to 4 or u is equal to 2. Once again, we do want to solve for x. So if u is equal to 4, that means x squared is equal to 4. And if u is equal to 2, that means x squared is equal to 2. I'm still not quite done. I don't want x squared. I want just x. So I can take the square root of both sides. x will equal plus or minus 2. I will also have to take the square root again of both sides and x will equal plus or minus the square root of 2. I have four answers. Negative 2, positive 2, negative radical 2 or square root of 2, and a positive square root of 2. Now some of you may have jumped to factoring. You may not have used substitution here, which in this particular problem it's not that hard to factor this. I do see x to the fourth, and I know that would be x squared times x squared if I am factoring. To get a positive 8, I'm going to use a negative 4 and a negative 2. That will give me my middle term. And now I will use the zero product property. x squared minus 4 will equal 0, or x squared minus 2 will equal 0. I will have x squared is equal to 4 
and take the square root of both sides. So x will equal plus or minus 2. With the second binomial, once again, I will isolate that x squared. I will take the square root of both sides, and x will equal plus or minus radical 2. The same answer as we got when we did substitution.